How's it punters? Welcome to BSB and in this video I'm going to be explaining everyone's favorite game that's the Spinner Zonke Hot Hot Fruit game which is available over on Hollywood Bets, Lotto Star and Super Bets and it's going to be coming to more bookmakers soon. What I'm going to be doing in this video is just running through the basics, how the game works, what some of the features are, what the bet levels do, the different pay lines, the symbols, all of those things. So if you're a beginner to the Spinner Zonka games or to Hot Hot Fruit, this video is definitely for you. So I'm going to start off with explaining the symbols. There are five different symbols in Hot Hot Fruit. We've got the watermelon, which is the lowest paying symbol. Then we've got the orange, then the plum, then bar, and then seven. Now each of these pay out at different odds and you can bring up all the information about the different payouts in the information section. Yeah, you go, you can see here what would get paid out at a bet level of 30 cents. If we get 10 of these, we'll get paid out 15 Rand. If we get 15 sevens, if our screen is full of sevens, at 30 cents a bet, we'll get paid out 500 Rand. Now that's at a bet level of 30 cents, which I will be explaining a bit later. Let's talk about the hot hot feature now. Now the hot hot feature is why many players actually play the game. It's a feature that can trigger at any time. It does trigger quite a lot. However, you do need to have winning symbols for it to work for you. So what happens is once the hot hot feature is triggered, there are random symbols that are changed into double symbols. And in the case of sevens, they actually change into three symbols. So you're winning a lot more. You're winning double or triple the amount you usually would for a normal bet. And that's what makes Hot Hot so special. Otherwise, it would just be called Fruit. <laughs> uh, the second feature is the free games, which you can earn during the gameplay. This is a lot less common than the Hot Hot feature. You might get a one of these free game features once every 100 or 200 spins whereas the hot hot feature will come up probably every 10 to 20 spins uh, depending on the session you're playing now for the free games you need three or more wild symbols appearing left to right or right to left and these need to appear on reels one two or four and five depending on if they're wild etc so if you get a whole lot of wilds in the right order you are going to trigger the six free games if you get more than that you are going to get 12 free games. Now the free games are really great because during the free game, any wins that you have are locked in. So if you get three sevens next to each other, that's going to be locked in for the next spin, which means you can add more sevens to that if you do get lucky. You can also earn even bigger wins with the hot, hot feature during the free games. Uh, that's where the payouts get really, really big. It's a little bit hard to explain the feature without having it triggered on screen, but uh, I'm sure you guys will get an idea of it once you have a quick look over on YouTube or check out the demo game for yourself. Then there are the other rules. There are 15 pay lines. So no matter how much you spend on the game, you can spend 30 cents, you can spend 300 Rand. You're covering all the pay lines. It makes no difference you're always covering all the pay lines on the Spinner Zonke games. It's not like in a casino slot where you might be playing one pay line or two pay lines or three pay lines. You're covering all 15 on the Spinner Zonke games with any bet from the minimum to the maximum. Now, the maximum win over on Hot Hot Fruit on all the different bookmakers is 2 million Rand. The minimum bet is 30 cents. That 30 cents only counts at Hollywood Bets and not at Super Bets and Lotto Star. I believe theirs is around 50 cents or 60 cents. Uh, the maximum bet is 300 Rand. That's the same across all the different bookmakers. I don't recommend playing 300 Rand a spin. It's really going to char you, but uh, it can help you pick up some big wins. Moving on to the pay lines. This is the patterns that decide if you are actually going to pick up a win or not. Now you need three symbols in any of these pay line orders the most basic one is the first one over here one two and three are very simple to understand if you get a line of symbols across the top middle or bottom that's going to pay it gets a little bit more complicated with these other pay lines but it is important to remember the only way you are going to win is if you have a symbol in the first column if you have the entire screen 
filled up with like sevens for example but you don't have any in the first column you're not going to win anything you do need to have them moving from left to right and it starts off with the first three so it'll pay you for the first three and then it'll pay you more for any ones after that obviously each symbol has got its own odds and wilds are there to substitute for all symbols the wilds help you pick up extra wins so I'm not going to be spending any more time on this. We're actually going to jump into a little bit of gameplay just so that you guys have an idea of what it looks like, uh, as well as what these different bets and coin sizes mean, as well as autoplay. So I'm going to start off by explaining the different bet levels and coin sizes. Now, there is a misconception that increasing or changing your bet levels is going to give you a better chance to win. That's not true. The bet levels and the coin sizes are simply there to help you adjust your stake, your bet size. So by increasing the bet level, you can see our bet size per spin is going to increase. So bet level five, coin size 10, that's gonna cost us seven rand 50 a spin. That just means that we are going to be able to win more than we are at say a lower bet level. So for example, if I get three sevens, on bet level two, coin size two, which is costing 60 cents, the payout is not gonna be as much if I have a six rand bet on it. So the more you bet, the higher your return is going to be. It has no other effect than that. All the different bet sizes and bet levels cover all the different pay lines, as I mentioned earlier. The next thing I want to talk about is autoplay. Now autoplay allows you to play the game without having to click or press on your phone, it automatically plays it to a predetermined number of spins that you can set yourself. You can set it up between 10 and 200 spins. There's also the stop autoplay option, which means you want to stop autoplay if a feature is triggered. Uh, I like to have that off because I like to have my autoplay, I like to keep track of my autoplay. If you turn this on, then your autoplay is basically gonna be reset to zero and you're not sure what you set it at. Uh, for example, you've put it on 100 spins and you hit a feature after, after 30 spins, you've got 70 autoplays left, that's gonna reset back to zero and you're gonna need to set it again. Whereas if you leave it off, it's gonna stay on 70 after that. You can also set the autoplay to stop if your balance decreases by a certain amount. So if you have 500 Rand and you don't want the game to continue playing after you lose 100 Rand, you'd set your balance to, you set autoplay to stop if your balance decreases by 100 Rand. Uh, and you can also do the opposite. So if you have a big win, or a win that exceeds, let's say 500 Rand or 200 Rand, uh, the game will stop automatically after that. And that's just to help you guarantee that you kind of lock in your profits. Uh, you know, if you stepped away from your computer or your phone for a bit, you don't have to worry about uh, picking up a big win and then giving it all back. So I'm going to jump into a few quick spins just to give you guys an idea of how things work. I'm going to explain the hot hot feature when it pops up and maybe if we get lucky we'll hit a feature for free games but I don't see that happening. But I'm going to set my bet size to I want around uh, 5 rand, 6 rand, 6 rand is good. Uh, to start the game you press the play button over here that's going to give me one spin of the reel. There we go you see we got that hot hot feature what it did is it split these into two these have become three but because we have no sevens in this column over here we don't pick up any wins let's give that another spin you can see this one does not have the hot hot feature you'll know the hot hot feature is activated when you see these side panels over there light up there we go just like that you'll see some random symbols are hit with the hot hot feature. So there's a row of watermelons that we pick up a win on, that's four, we pick up a 10 rand win on that. That's one of the pay lines. I think that's actually the first pay line that runs across the top. Let's give it a few more spins. And then what I will do is I will put it on autoplay. Here's another hot one. You can see those sevens got split. Fortunately, we didn't have the seven in the first column, which is something you're gonna see a lot of. You'll get this hot feature quite a lot but it doesn't always pay. You can see this one paid because we have three of these symbols. This one was initially one symbol, but it turned into three thanks to the hot, hot feature. So that's one, two, three features, or symbols rather, and that uh, 
gives us a payout on that one. So this wild over here would have helped if we'd had some bars, but we don't. There we go, that wild help with the bar there. And you'll see it also flashes the pay line that you've been paid out on. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the autoplay on for 20 rounds. I'm gonna learn, leave it off so if a feature's triggered, the autoplays will continue after the feature. And your autoplay is also gonna be set at the amount that you put your bet size on. So let's start the autoplay. Autoplay is something I use a lot because I like to get through a lot of spins really quickly. Other players like to do it manually. There is no difference in your chance of winning if you're playing autoplay or you're spinning manually. Fortunately, I'm not having that much luck today, but uh, hopefully we can see a, a hot, hot feature pop up here. There we go, there's a hot, hot. You can see all those sevens there. If you ever want to stop autoplay at any time, you just click on the autoplay button. You can see we pick up a nice one over there and that will stop the autoplay for you. Uh, you can then resume it by going back to the autoplay and, and changing the settings again. So you can see those wilds came in there with the pay lines. Unfortunately, we needed one more while there to get the feature, the hot, hot uh, free games. And I'll give this one one more spin. So there we go, guys. That's pretty much how hot, hot fruit works. It's a very simple game. Uh, it does take a little bit of getting used to. So that's why I do recommend you go check out the hot, hot fruit demo over on Habanero where you can play for free. You don't need to play with real money. It just helps you get a hang of the game, a better understanding of how the game works. Unfortunately, you can't keep any of those winnings, but uh, when you do decide to open up a betting account and start betting with one of the sites I mentioned, I do recommend you start on the minimum amount, which is coin size 0.02 and bet level one. That's gonna cost you 30 cents. Now, if you ever want to change between your coins to rands you just click on your balance and you'll see that's going to change to coins or rands some players like to use coins i think it's always better to use rands just so you know exactly what's going on with your balance and you can also click on your bet amount to change that so if you guys ever find that uh, you are displaying coins instead of rands just give it a click and that will change it right back for you guys i hope you found this hot hot fruit tutorial guide useful i've covered most of the basics after this video you should have a fairly good understanding on how the game works if you still have any questions please let me know in the comments below and i'll do my best to answer them and uh, you can also go have a look on the channel for some of the free game features that i've posted in other videos if you'd like a better idea of how that one works but uh, other way otherwise guys i'll catch you in the next video have a good one guys cheers